Hi, my name is Veronica Ferrero and I'm the registrar here at the Brockville Museum. This is our temporary gallery exhibit featuring paintings from our collection by artist Frederick Locke. Paintings are considered sensitive pieces as they are highly susceptible to damage. When in storage and in display, it is important to maintain an appropriate, stable environment and control light levels to slow the deterioration of the pieces as light damage is irreversible and ongoing. When placing objects on display, we always consider the amount of visible light hitting the pieces. There are objects that are much more susceptible to light damage and therefore require a lower light level setting. Paintings in general are light sensitive, but different mediums require different light levels. For example, watercolors and pastels are most sensitive to damage by light and we restrict light levels to 50 lux. Whereas oils, temperas, and acrylics paintings, although still sensitive and certain pigments can easily fade in yellow from light damage, they can tolerate higher light levels up to 50, 150 to 200 lux. So how do we measure this? This is a light meter. We measure in the light intensity that is hitting the face of the paintings to get an accurate reading. Once the painting is in place, we have LED lights on tracks that can be moved to minimize light levels. And we also use a, cr a crisscrossing techniques with the lights to prevent hot spots and soften the light. So we also turn these lights off when they're not needed. Painting should always be kept out of direct sunlight as ultraviolet radiation, or UV, is particularly damaging. We have one window in our gallery space and we have UV absorbing film on the window plane to reduce the UV levels. We also work around the window um, so we don't place pieces near, uh, near the window and pre to prevent damage from visible light and fluctuating temperatures and humidity. LEDs have a very uh, low UV output and LED lights are used in the gallery as they are available in warm to cool tone and they have a good color render index um, so you can see the painting's truest colors. Um, when installing these paintings, placement is key factor for preservation. We are not only protecting from light damage, but we also want to protect from damage caused by improper temperature and humidity levels. We choose a location that is not prone to large fluctuations in temperature and humidity. We also want to make sure it's not too dry or too humid. So too dry and flaking and cracking can occur on the paint, but too humid and expanding and mold growth is a risk. So when it comes to humidity and temperature levels, we try to keep the museum at a stable level at 21 to 22 degrees and about 45 to 50% relative humidity with some minimum fluctuations for each and of course the seasons um, will change these ranges as well. So I hope I provided a little insight into some of our actions we take to protect our pieces on display. Stay tuned for the next video on mounting techniques in our gallery space.